America, free and independent. Protecting our rights to access public land. Welcome back to Intrepid Outdoors. On this week's segment of America Free and Independent, we're gonna be talking about Wyoming, which is a Delaware Indian word meaning mountains and valleys alternating. What a perfect definition for such a beautiful state. On this week's America Free and Independent, we'll take a closer look at the cowboy state and how much energy it produces without interfering with any of the nature within its borders. Wyoming is truly forever west. It's 97,818 square miles of towering mountains, vast plains, and high deserts only speak loudly of that fact. About 50% of this spectacular scenery is public land administered by the U.S. Forest Service and Bureau of Land Management, otherwise known as the BLM. Wyoming is rich in natural resources like coal, crude oil, natural gas, uranium, coal bed methane gas, and sodium carbonate also known as trona. In fact, Wyoming has the largest deposits of trona in the world, supplying the globe with 25% of its trona needs. Wyoming also has the largest known deposits of uranium ore in the United States. The state is number one in coal production in the U.S. and is home to the largest coal mine in the world. You also might not know it, but Wyoming is actually our country's second largest producer of natural gas and the fifth largest producer of crude oil. Then there is the agricultural side of Wyoming. In total, 1.4 million cows call Wyoming home. The state is also the second largest producer of wool and stock sheep and lamb in the country. Furthermore, the state also produces tons of hay, sugar beets, corn, wheat, barley, and beans every year. One might think with all this industry like mining, drilling, exploration, and agriculture, Wyoming would have a negative impact on the area's wildlife. That simply isn't true. The reality is that Wyoming is teeming with some of the most prolific big game herds in the nation. Whether it's moose, elk, bighorn sheep, mountain goats, mule deer, pronghorns, the cowboy state proudly provides sustainable habitats for 600 species of wildlife. And with more than 230,000 acres of standing water, and 20,000 miles of rivers, creeks, and streams that hold salmon, trout, and warm water fish, this amazing place we call Wyoming is proof that humans, industry, and wildlife truly can and do coexist. Thanks for tuning in to this week's segment of America Free and Independent. And remember, our public lands must stay open. The citizens of the United States have the right to use and enjoy these beautiful lands and their valuable resources.